The protein that depolarizes the cell membrane is a voltage-dependent sodium channel. As its name says, this protein forms a pore in the membrane and opens when it reaches a certain voltage. When the membrane of a cell is polarized, the liquid that touches the inside is negative, and the liquid that touches the outside is positive. In a cell, the voltage inside a polarized membrane is less than minus 70 millivolts. The sodium channel is composed of a single protein that crosses the membrane 24 times. Four of these segments have a positive charge due to their rich content in arginines, which contain a positive charge. The protein has three conformations, closed, open and inactivated. The natural conformation of the protein is in open mode. But when the inside of the membrane contains a negative charge less than minus 50 millivolts, it is strong enough to attract the positive segments of the protein. And as long as the voltage is kept below minus 50 millivolts, the protein is kept closed. But when the voltage inside the membrane loses negative force, rising to more than minus 50 millivolts, the positive segments are no longer attracted with enough force and rise, opening an exactly narrow pore for sodium ions to pass through. As sodium ions pass into the cell, the ratio of ions outside and inside the membrane changes, raising the voltage inside to 30 millivolts, reversing the polarity of the membrane. But the protein cannot be closed off until the inside of the membrane is less than minus 50 millivolts. To stop the flow of ions without closing the pore, the protein uses a domain that sticks to the exit of the pore and covers it. Preventing the flow of ions, inactivating its function a millisecond after opening. When the voltage returns to less than minus 50 millivolts, the positive segments of the protein are attracted towards the interior of the membrane, closing the pore to remain in its closed conformation.